Hey team, I wanted to really quickly walk through how we can work with document, specifically PDF data within Labelbox. If we take a look at our documentation, it mentions that there's two specific formats that's required for PDF ingestion. There's the actual PDF itself, and then there's the JSON text layer that would get rendered on top of the PDF. Now, depending on your use case, you may need either just the PDF or both the PDF and the text layer JSON. And as an example, we can see when to use one versus the other. So let's say your task is just about doing high level classifications on your PDF. So for instance, answering whether or not this is a compliance report, yes or no, or specifying what kind of document type this is. In this situation, we simply need to work or ingest the PDF records themselves. We wouldn't necessarily need the text layer. The text layer comes in handy if, for example, you want to be able to search across your PDFs in catalog, or if you want to make entity-based annotations like NER, so highlighting text within the PDF document as we see over here, or wanting to draw relationships between different entities in your PDF. That's really when the text layer JSON is needed. And this text layer will be generated and rendered on top of the PDF as we see in the editor. This is important because it tells Labelbox how to render the annotations that you're making. So if we're highlighting text in this case, Labelbox knows, first of all, what is the actual token upon which that highlighting is being done, as well as where geometrically within the PDF, the highlighting annotation is being done. As mentioned in our documentation, Labelbox supports OCR generated from Adobe OCR, AWS Textract, and GCP. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be focusing on how we can achieve this with AWS Textract, but either of the other options work as well. One thing to note, is that if you already have your own OCR algorithm that isn't any of these options, you can simply run the appropriate scripting to make it in the Labelbox ingestible format. So this is an example of what the text layer schema looks like. So long as you're able to fit your OCR algorithm result into this format, uh, you should be good to go. So navigating back to our example with AWS Textract, we can click on this conversion script link over here, and this will take us to the GitHub repo. So let's go ahead and we can clone this repo. And once we clone the repo, we should be able to see that within the terminal. And we will navigate to the appropriate directory. In this case, this is the name of the directory. And if it's the first time setting this up, then you'll need to run the AWS configure command as I've done over here. And that's going to prompt you with accessing the uh, access key ID, the secret access key, as well as these other two uh, metadata. The AWS configure command is only going to run if you have the AWS CLI set up. So please make sure to go ahead and do that as well. There's a link for that in the GitHub repo, which will take you to the installation steps for that. So you can click on that link right here. Once we've gone ahead and configured all of that, the next step is to run the script itself. So if we navigate over to terminal, this is the command we're going to run. And in the repo itself, there's going to be three different executable files depending on which operating system you have. This is the one for Mac OS because we're running this on a Mac. And what this is going to do is it's going to run the OCR text layer conversion script for all of the PDFs in the input folder. And it's going to dump the JSON in the output folder. So as an example, if you'll see over here, this is my repo. I have all my PDFs in the input folder over here. And as a result of running this script, I'm now able to see all of the different text layers. And just as a sanity check, if we were to navigate into one of these text layer files, we can see for each token, what are the geometric coordinates. And we can see that for all the tokens. 
One thing to note is that while the script is running, it may try to upload all of your PDFs directly to your S3 bucket, in which case simply make sure that your bucket name is specified in the config.json file as I've done over here, where this represents the name of my S3 bucket. We'll also need to ensure that the following permissions are set on my bucket in order to allow for that automatic upload of those PDFs. Once the script is run successfully and we have all of our textlayer.json files for all of our PDFs, the final steps are to navigate over to the S3 folder and we'll upload those corresponding folders. And once we do that, we'll be able to retrieve the PDF URLs as well as the text layer URLs for all of our assets. There is a script that will automatically do this for you. So all you have to do is specify your corresponding metadata fields, as well as the folder path to your PDFs and your JSONs. And this will automatically create that JSON payload for creating the data set within Labelbox. Once that is finished, we'll be able to see the data set. And if we navigate over into a specific PDF, we should be able to see that the text layer is set to true, and that validates our end-to-end -end ingestion of our PDFs as well as our text layer JSON files. Thanks.